Hey, I'm Matt from mastersketchup.com and in this video, I am going to show you how to model a conventional wood frame structure using fully automated and parametric walls that include studs, insulation, blocking, gypsum, sheathing, cladding, and more using an extension called Medik Wall. You can even insert doors and windows and it'll like frame the rough opening and update the wall automatically with the correct stud pack and header and it cuts out the sheathing and internal finishes for you too. So let me show you how this works. You activate the wall tool right here and then you configure the wall parameters in this window. So then you click to place each bottom corner of the wall and in polyline mode, you can continue placing connected wall segments and it'll automatically reconfigure the corner configurations as you go. So you can work in 3D like this or a top-down parallel projection view if you find it easier. So all of the building materials are automatically organized onto tags, which you can customize and you can organize them into tag folders however you'd like. Then to insert a door, you grab the door tool, configure the door and place it on any wall. And the wall will be regenerated with the correct rough opening, the king studs, jack studs and everything. And windows work the same way. And there's really a ton of customization available with doors and windows, including custom headers. But if you really need a specific door, you can model it yourself in SketchUp and then save it to your custom Medik library and you'll be able to choose it from the door configuration menu. All right, so how much customization do you really get with the wall itself? So the level of customization you get with stud framed wall assemblies allows you to define one to three bottom plates, one to three top plates, custom stud size and spacing, and up to two layers of gypsum, two layers of sheathing, one layer of cladding, and an exterior wains coating, which can be used for like brick or a stone veneer. Now, the gypsum sheathing and cladding are mostly just rectangular extrusions, so you have complete control over the thickness and texture, so you could technically use them to represent whatever you want. But unfortunately, there's no way to like completely customize your own like wall sandwich, like being able to define the quantity and order of specific wall elements. You're kind of limited to the options here, so it would be a little tricky for more advanced wall assemblies. Now, I should mention you do have the option to model the wall as a solid, uh, CMU wall, or if you don't want all of the framing elements inside, you can switch it to solid mode. And if you just want to generate a 2D floor plan, you can just use 2D mode. And the great thing is you can switch modes at any time. Like the walls will still remember all of their detailed framing parameters. But one thing I wish I could do is save a set of wall parameters to like a definition that could be associated to multiple walls so I could control multiple walls from one spot. But unfortunately, that's not possible. But you can save wall presets to preload parameters to save time. However, I found that the copy wall tool is one of my favorite features. It allows you to sample one or more properties from any wall and then apply those parameters to other walls just by clicking on them. All right, what about adding custom objects to walls? So usually with any like custom extension that's generating geometry and controlling it parametrically, you never want to edit any of the objects inside of those groups using native SketchUp tools because all of those changes will become overridden if you ever need to regenerate anything using the extension. So with Medik wall, there are several additional wall parameters for automating placement of blocking, hold downs and trim. And there are specialized tools for manually adding shear walls, columns and individual blocking. So all of these specialized tools allow you to insert objects in the walls and they won't get deleted if you have to make a change to the wall or regenerate it. 
But what if you wanted to add your own completely custom object to a Medik wall? This is actually one of my favorite features of the extension because it really enables you to customize walls however you want without losing the parametric capability. So you don't have to make the choice of being like, oh, I want to customize this so much, so I'm going to sacrifice you know, any future editing using the Medik extension. So what you can do is add any group or component to a wall assembly, and as long as you include the word custom inside the object name, it will keep that object in the wall whenever it is regenerated. And what's even cooler is you can use the word subtract to add objects that will remove parts of the wall for you. So you can create holes for you know, plumbing or trim siding or sheathing back, for example, and still retain all of the parametric features. If you ever add a window or add a door, all of those custom groups that you add to the wall will remain in the wall. All right, what about estimating and takeoffs? You have a lot of data in the model. How do you quantify it? Now, as far as extracting data from the model, the built-in estimating module will group materials by wall and tell you the length of studs and the area of sheet goods, but it doesn't give you the total quantity and there's no way to assign costs. So you basically have to export it to Excel and uh, work with it from there. Now, I was talking with the developer about this and he told me that the estimating module is definitely a work in progress and there are a lot more features that he wants to add to it. And there are certain things that it's not even able to quantify yet, like lumber that's installed at an angle, like on gable walls and stuff like that. So just to be clear, it's important to understand this extension is a work in progress. Um, the developer, his name's Nathaniel Wilkerson, he's been working on this for several years now, since 2018, but it's just such a huge vision. And there are some incomplete features like this estimating module, and there's some other wall types he wants to add. Um, and I did encounter a few bugs while I was spending a few days testing the extension. But overall, I'm really impressed with what he's got here so far. And I'm impressed with the developer himself. You know, Nathaniel and I actually had a video chat um, after I spent some time working in the extension. And I told him about some of the bugs I experienced. And I was like blown away because like literally the next day he pushed out an update to the extension the very next day. So I'll link to the forum thread. He's got uh, several threads for all his different extensions on the SketchUp forum. Um, and you can see how active he is with updates and you can see some of my feedback as well that I've left for him there. Now, I also asked if he'd be interested in becoming a sponsor. So he put together a coupon code for you for 10% off when you use my affiliate uh, coupon code in the description below. So you can purchase Medik Wall as a standalone extension or as part of the Medik BIM suite of tools. So I didn't even mention, but there's a Medik foundation tool and a Medik trust tool, which will have to be like a whole other video. Um, but you can grab a permanent license for the Medik wall tool for only $150, which includes a, a year of free updates, or there's a subscription license option for $50 a year. Now, the other option is to grab the entire Medik BIM suite that includes Medik wall, foundation, and truss. Um, and that is $280 for a permanent license with one year of free updates. So even in its current state, with you know a few incomplete features and being a little rough around the edges, I think this is an incredibly valuable extension. I mean, I wouldn't even attempt to uh, model a project at this level of detail manually, but the time saved compared to doing it manually is easily exponential. Um, and I didn't even mention, there's actually a whole tool for building stairs. So you can you can create stairs using the Medik wall extension as well. I didn't even, didn't even go over that in this video. So anyways, check it out. I'll have a link in the description for a trial as well. So you can check it out. Um, and be sure to use my coupon code if you decide to purchase it to save 10% off. All right, that's all I have for you in this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I'll see you in the next video.